Okay, so I am now recording um, sort of the updated version of from the previous one showing recent progress to my own private ruin, my little fixer-upper here in Conway, South Carolina. So we're coming in through the front door off of McKeithen Street, and as you can see, um, insulation has been put up. Well, sorry, now you can see that insulation has been put up in the, in the den. Um, the windows here were actually loose. There's, there was a fair bit of water damage as well. Eventually these windows are gonna have to be completely replaced, but for right now, um, got some, uh, some sealant there. Um, so you can see the, the floors are all in here. Um, there was absolutely no insulation in these walls whatsoever, which is bizarre. Um, so at least that's taken care of. And then again, you can see the split, uh, the, uh, the mini split ductless system that's that's in place here. We will eventually have, of course, um, well, this panel of sheetrock will be going up there. And as we come in here, I believe the the last video I took, there was no um, subfloor here, so all of the um, the, the uh, joists have been replaced and. Um, the subfloor has been laid, so um, the plumbing also has been repaired so that, well, over there, it's not actually coming out yet, but there will be um, another sink there, and the, the plumbing is, is there again. So um, even uh, a hint of cabinets. <laughs> um, framing had to be kind of put in a little bit more as well so that... Uh, um, to bring the, the place up to code um, because it was this uh, part of the house was built in the late 40s, early 50s. So a lot of this, you know, I mean, there, there were fairly low standards, if any, apparently. Um, so the bar has all been ripped out. All of this um, replaced the, uh, the header that you see there um, was actually sagging. So the whole ceiling, you can still see there's a little bit of sagging and there's a, a crack there in the ceiling. Um, but that has been pushed up, um, and the, the piers underneath and, uh, have been uh, resituated and um, stabilized. Um, so uh, as we go into the dining room here, and you can see, of course, the infamous zipper tarp on the other side of which is my lair. Um, these windows will, of course, again, be swapped out so that the shorter one will be above the, the second kitchen sink and the, the bigger one here in the dining room. Um, you can see here there's quite a bit of water damage and termite damage. Let's see if I can zoom in here so you can see this. Uh, yeah, pretty bad. So all of that has to be replaced. And hey, guess what? There's a hurricane coming in four days. So what that means is that um, I have uh, made a request to the contractor to prioritize uh, getting this wall replaced um, and the new siding put on on the outside so that the hurricane doesn't, you know, ruin the brand new subfloors that were just put in, uh, rip this wall off, and then of course rip off my precious zipper tarp, thereby infecting my, uh, my tiny living space. So, um, yeah, hopefully my next video will be um, a completely new wall here, um, again with uh, um, sheetrock and everything up and uh, insulation um, where there was none before. So, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we call progress. <laughs> that was a little joke. Um, Oh, one more thing I should note that up he up here you can see how that um, ceiling is sagging as well. That also has to be built up and um, there's going to be a, I guess, a, a beam or a header or something that goes along there, something, a uh, micro lamb um, that will push that, um, push that back up. So I think that's it for now. Um, Stay tuned for more progress. Hopefully, again, the next video will not be quite so depressing. But you can see that, you know, the subfloors are almost there. Only one more joist that needs to be uh, repaired. And um, everything's level. It's not square, but it's level. The place wasn't square to begin with, so 
Uh, there's only kind of so much you can do on that front. Okay. Yes, better.